Hello and welcome to my channel. Dr. Ash is here. So the coronavirus vaccine started to distribute in US, UK, and so many people are really worried about the side effect of this vaccine. I made a video regarding the coronavirus vaccine side effect, but that was very general. Uh, I, I noticed that so many of my friends worry about the mutation and by mutation I believe they are more worried about cancer. Therefore, I want to make this video to little bit discuss more in detail regarding the activity of the mRNA vaccine and how does mRNA vaccine work and also could it cause mutation within our cells. So if you are interested to know more about this, you should follow me to this video. <laughs> So, to discuss about the coronavirus vaccine, we need to first a little bit understand about the human cell physiology. Human categorized as a eukaryote organism. What does that mean? That means that human cells have a nucleus and our gene and DNA are encapsulated inside the nucleus. So therefore, our DNA are on, and our gene are not floating inside the cytoplasm. So, that means every protein that is produced inside our cell is done by the mRNA. How does this mRNA do? mRNA is a message that from the nucleus sent to the cytoplasm to use the protein machinery inside the cytoplasm to produce the certain protein. That's how our cells work. That's, that's the relationship inside our cell with the mRNA. It's a messenger. It's a blueprint which goes to the cytoplasm and transfer all of these messages to produce certain protein. After those protein made inside the cytoplasm, uh, it released and that's how, how our body functions. So now let's discuss about the mRNA vaccine. mRNA vaccine use this technique, the benefit of this mRNA, to transfer those codes from the coronavirus SS spike protein within the cytoplasm to use this machinery to produce those SS spike protein which later it will help our immune system to recognize this SS spike protein, therefore produce the uh, B cell and also the antibody to be prepared once we get the real coronavirus uh, infection, we could fight that. So now let's answer the question. Could this mRNA vaccine cause mutation? Basically it cannot because the place that the mRNA vaccine work is inside the cytoplasm and our DNA are encapsulated inside the nucleus and these vaccines are not programmed to, to enter our nucleus. Therefore, there is no chance that this mRNA can interrupt the normal activity of the cell. So the second question is, okay, this mRNA enter our cytoplasm and start to produce SS spike protein. What if our cell does not stop to produce SS spike protein because of this mRNA vaccine? That also have a very clear and easy answer. The mRNA have a very short life. So within the cytoplasm, because of the temperature and the enzyme is there, the mRNA very fast degraded. And that's one of the reasons all of us need to get two shots of the vaccine because they want to enhance and bring the possibility of get the immunization much higher. That's why we have to take it two times. So basically mRNA doesn't last long. So once it uh, indicate the production of the SS spike protein to our cytoplasm uh, protein machinery, it will degradate it and it finish. So first, it work in a different department of our cell. Secondly, it has a very short life. So basically there is no connection between the mRNA vaccine and the cause of the, and causing the mutation. Now let's discuss a little bit about what happened in the trial from the economic point of view and also scientific point of view. First, economic point of view. These companies like Pfizer, Moderna, that producing the mRNA vaccine, they won't risk their existence by producing this vaccine. Means what? They are not producing, for example, painkiller for local use. They are making a vaccine that will globally distribute it. So if their vaccine has such a side effects such as mutation and the cancer, these companies are totally finished. No matter how much money they have, they cannot pay for the damage that their vaccine can cause to the billions of people. Therefore, I'm very sure more than we worry about the mutation, they are worrying about the mutation. And I'm sure they've been really going through many different layer of the experiment till they come up with this, with this vaccine. And please keep this in mind. They did not produce one vaccine they had thousands of formulation. They had hundreds of formulation. 
but they only introduced this one means this one was the one didn't have side effect or had a very low side effect it couldn't cause cancer and so on as and as i explained before this vaccine has two parts one is the mrna which is the active ingredient inside and the other is the chemical that they use to formulate this vaccine to make sure this mrna delivered to our system in a best possible scenario for that formulation also they had so many options they had narrowed down to the formulation that won't cause serious side effect that that's my point of view from how does these companies do and now let's talk about the scientific part so that was the economic point of view how about the scientific point of view look when they produce a vaccine they going through many different layers they have to try it on the cell culture then they try it on the on the animal then go for a short and small number of the people and it's go and because I've been doing this type of work and also I've been participating with a uh, clinical trial, I know very well if any part of this work goes wrong, they will stop that because they don't want the risk because they have to put lots of effort and money and they don't they want to earn benefit. They don't want to lose all their capability because of the mistake. Therefore, if any part of this trial, they could face the cancer or serious side effect they would have definitely stopped the procedure so another thing that we can discuss when somebody volunteer for the trial they receive a book very small book that write about the detail of the previous experience for example if this can cause 0.1 percent cancer inside the animal trial they must put it there why because if the person who participated in the trial get any damage get any cancer or problem the company must pay for all the coverage for their treatment and also must pay big fine for the person in case they misleading the person for the trial. Therefore, so far when I read all the individual testimony of those people who went to the trial, nobody said that there was such a thing as possible cancer or mutation mentioned inside the information that they receive before they participate for the trial. So. This is my point of view. I hope it helped you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friend and follow me through that video as well. So I wish you all stay safe and well and get your vaccine as soon as possible. Till next time, I wish you all the best.